morning guys, how's my one two three back with another video and today I'm with my dad. Hi. And we've got um our Premier League week sixteen, is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, okay, so sorry about the noise in the background, I'm just watching Jumanji. Jumanji. Yeah, um right, so first off, on um Saturday we've got West Ham at home at uh, Chelsea. So what are you saying, Dad? I think West Ham are starting to improve, but they haven't improved that much. I think Chelsea will win this comfortably, but not spectacularly. I think Chelsea will win 2-0. Okay, um, I've got to go with um, Dad's prediction, but I'm going to go a bit risky here, and I'm going to say 4-1 Chelsea. I know that's a bit, but yeah. Okay. But... but Burnley at home to Watford. Um, I'm gonna go either a draw or a Burnley. I don't know. I'm gonna go a draw. A two-two draw. Okay. I think both teams are doing very, very well. Yeah, they're, probably, they're at the same level. At the probably moment. punching above their weight, both of yeah. them. However, the league doesn't lie. They're doing very, very well. Um, Turf Moor is a difficult place to go, however, I fancy Watford to win this one, 1-0. One mm, right. So now we've got Palace versus Bournemouth, Crystal Palace v Bournemouth. Mm. Palace versus Bournemouth. Bournemouth have went down a bit to their level, a bit, and Palace have just rose up a bit, so... Mm. I'm going to go for a 0-0 nil -nil draw. I'm going to go 2-1 for Crystal Palace. Mm, okay. I just feel that they have the potential to do well this season. Right, we've got Huddersfield versus Brighton. Right, this match should be very, very interesting because you have, you have two teams that have just came up from the Championship as well as Newcastle. Um, and, yeah, it should be very interesting. So I think it'll be a very, very interesting match. Um, both teams have got the potential to do very, very well. I yeah. think this one could be down to a single goal. I'm going to go for a 3-2 win away for Brighton. Right, ironically, I'm going to go a Brighton win. I think they'll win by the one goal, so I'm just going to go 2-1. Two 2-1 on. Two on to Brighton. Right, so now we've got Swansea at home to West Brom. Swansea are at the bottom there, not doing very well at the moment, and West Brom have just got Alan Pardew, so I'm going to have to go West Brom 1-0 by a single goal. Swansea are having a torrid time. Swansea no. are doing very badly. Swansea will get relegated at the end of the season. They're playing against West Brom, who have a brand new manager. However, that manager is Alan Pardew, and for that reason, I think Swansea will win 2-0. Right. Um, so, now we've got Tottenham and Stoke, and not just saying this because I'm an Arsenal fan, but Tottenham have been not that good recent, recently, if I'm honest, but I don't know, can Stoke hold them off though? That's the question. I'm gonna go 3-1 Tottenham. I'm giving Benford. I don't like down. Stoke. I really don't like Stoke. I think they're hopeless. I really do. Right. <laughs> um, and I like the way that Tottenham are playing this season. Uh, I'm gonna go Tottenham 3 Stoke 0. Okay. So we we'll both say Tottenham. Newcastle v Leicester will be at that match tomorrow. Seven, five thirty. Look for us. We'll be there. Um. So yeah, this should be very interesting. It's an very important match for Newcastle because it's their what was it, one hundred twenty hundred and twenty fifth birthday. Yeah. So I really do want them for, to win, but I just don't think it's going to happen, especially with Leicester been doing quite well this season, mm. if I'm honest. And I'm gonna go a one one draw. Newcastle, they're not going to lose on the an important occasion like this. You can't have happening. let it slip the last couple of weeks. They've lost quite a few games on the bounce. Um, they've just started to show that they can be organised again. I think it all depends on whether or not Jamal themselves is playing because he holds things together at the back. Yeah. Um, I'm going to let my heart rule my head and I'm going to go for a Newcastle 2-1 victory. Okay. Um, oh yeah, you said 3 0 earlier, but. Yeah, I'm going to go 2 1. Alright, tell you what, I'll stick right. with that then. 3 0 Newcastle. 3 0 2 3 0, 1. 3 0 Newcastle. Well, he's went for three goals either way, but. Right. Southampton versus Arsenal, right? 
I'm an Arsenal fan, although I'm going to the um, Newcastle match. Yeah. Um. But so. <laughs> Your prediction first. Um. Southampton Arsenal. Um. Southampton can hold their own quite well. Oh, yeah. Arsenal are doing okay. They've had a really good big win in the Europa League. <laughs> a few players are also with a point to prove. Hold on. Go for an... Baseball are so fans. I hope you're watching. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um... <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, so. Um, I think Arsenal will win 2 0. Same, same here. Okay. Right. Comfortable, well, not comfortable, just. Ed a narrow 2 0 victory, right. The two derbies now, so we've got the Merseyside derby in Liverpool, Everton. Everton are doing quite well, but I really cannot see them getting any points from Liverpool, especially being away. So I'm going to go Liverpool 3 1. Everton's season so far has been a complete and utter waste of time, yeah. and Liverpool are scoring for fun. Uh, however, especially with Mo Salah. However, yeah. Big Sam's just taken over at Everton, mm -hmm. and he's no mug. Um, the, I believe Ham, oh no. that I believe that Everton have not won at Anfield for years. Nah. Um, and they've, they've won they've won Merseyside derbies, but at Goodison Park. I think that Everton will win this one one nil. Everton will right. win their first ever Merseyside derby in, in an age. And one nil. Liverpool will, like lose theirs or something. Yeah. Lose their, yeah. Like, yeah. Right. <gasps> Finally, guys, you said it. Man City versus Man United. I've wrote this wrong. Man, Man United are actually at home, but yeah. Okay, can I? Do you want to go first or will I go first? Uh. Who talks first? You talk first, or I? You can go first because I'm, I'm still working out who who to win this one. I forgot. Right, okay, Man United versus Man City. Basically, um, I don't think it's any great surprise that whoever um, the, the the Premier League title will be going to Manchester this year. Yeah. I think whoever wins this game will win the league. Will go Ooh. on to win the league. Nice. Um, I think if either of these teams win at the weekend, they will then go on to win the league. Um, my tip at the beginning of the season was Man United. Yeah. Um, Man City versus Man United. Man City scored for fun. Man United really shrewd yeah. and difficult team to beat. The, the will I... It will be a two-all draw. Two-all draw, right. Two-all draw. I'm actually going to go for... Listen. A 1-0 Man United win. Yep. Because okay. they have got the home advantage. And, I mean, let's face it, if Man City win... But, the fans will just jump the barrier. barrier. I think if that's true, especially with what happened, if to if Man that's City a one nil go. win, is that I think that's possibly the first time that Man City will end the game without scoring a goal this season. Mm. I think so. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I think so. Hey, Matt, cause, yeah, cause, I mean they have been because they haven't lost a game yet. Well, they've drew with Everton, I think, but yeah. So there you have it guys, those are our predictions, make sure to leave the leave a comment, make sure to yep, down the description and subscribe for more pizza.